Two of the most powerful technologies of our time are Web3 and artificial intelligence. So let's dive in and see what these are all about. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking about Web3 and AI. Aren't you excited? Pretty cool stuff. And what happens when you combine them? Now what's gonna happen is that we're gonna get a new kind of internet that intelligent, decentralized capabilities and owned by the people. Now in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how AI and Web3 are gonna shape the future together. And I'll introduce you to three real world projects that are in the works right now that are already making it happen. This is not already a theory, it's already happening. Let's keep it simple. AI brings intelligence and automation. Web3 brings decentralization, transparency, and ownership. I mean, that's great, everybody wants that. Now, when you combine these two, you get systems that learn and adapt AI and can't be monetized or manipulated. That's Web3, right? It's also gonna let you own your data, your tools, and even the profits. Awesome stuff. The result, a smarter, fairer internet, all right? So now we're gonna talk about three projects merging AI and Web3. And the first one we're gonna talk about is SingularityNet. It's right here on the screen for you. And imagine an AI marketplace where developers from around the world can publish AI services and users can pay for them with crypto. That's incredible. That's Singularity.net, a decentralized hub for AI models and tools. It also runs on the Ajax token and was founded by Dr. Ben Goertzer, the mind behind Sophia, the humanoid robot. That's pretty cool. Anyone can upload or use AI models. Very awesome stuff from voice assistance to image analysis. It also can get some real world examples, All right, Let's talk about one. A business in Africa needs speech to text AI. Instead of paying big tech, what they do is they buy that service directly from a global developer via blockchain. How cool is that? And you can check out all these awesome features on singularity.net. I'm really excited. These are awesome tools. Come and check it out for yourself. I think SingularityNet is gonna be a great tool for Web3 and AI. And now we're gonna move on. We are going to talk about Fetch AI, so let's do that now. All right, so here we are on Fetch AI. And what this is, is it focuses on autonomous AI agents that can book rides, manage energy grids, negotiate contracts, or even trade crypto all by themselves. That's awesome, right? Pretty cool. Now these agents can communicate with each other and execute tasks using blockchain smart contracts. An example would be your AI agent monitors EV changing stations, finds the cheapest and closest one, reserves your slot, and pays you using crypto. I think that's amazing. No middleman, no waiting, just pure efficiency. So guys, come on over to Fitch AI and see how it can help you. I think it's gonna do great. All these tools I'm very excited for and uh, I'm sure you guys are excited as well. It's gonna be great. So now we're gonna talk about the last one on the list, Ocean Protocol, and we're gonna do that now. All right, Ocean Protocol, very cool. Now AI needs data, but privacy is a huge concern for people. I understand that. I'm very protective when I use the internet of my data, obviously. Now Ocean Protocol can solve this by letting people share or sell data securely through blockchains. Very cool stuff. You can check out a lot of the features here. Look at all this awesome stuff, right? Now, you also stay in control of your data and AI can still learn from it. An example would be a research lab trains an AI health model on anonymized hospital data without ever accessing private records. I think we all want that kind of peace of mind, right? Hospitals earn tokens and patient privacy stays protected. I think that's amazing. So guys, make sure you check out Ocean Protocol it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna do awesome things for this kind of stuff. And these AI models in Web3 are focused on giving the internet back to the people. I think that's great. So guys, in conclusion, smarter systems, fairer systems, and systems owned by people, not platforms. That's what we all want. Which one of these projects do you think will have the biggest impact? Please let me know down in the comments below and big changes are coming and I'll be covering them right here. All right, so as you can see, these three projects show the potential when AI and Web3 join forces. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the bell so you don't miss anything when we post new AI content or crypto. We'll see you in the next video.